Fragrance Day is March 21st, and who better to help us celebrate than the fragrance queen herself, the president of Fragrance Foundation, Linda Levy. And good morning, Linda. How are you? Brad, I'm terrific. I'm so excited to be with you in Arizona today. It's quite chilly in New York. Uh, well, I'll tell you, it's it's nice to have you here. It's spring here, and I'll tell you, I wish we had a, a way for people to scratch their TV and smell this amazing <laughs> fragrance that we have going on here in the studio and that you have in your office, which is amazing. Um, let's talk about, of course, spring smells, spring fragrances, and the biggest ones that are going to be pretty much catching people's, uh, how can I say, uh, romance in a way. <laughs> yes. Thanks for asking. Spring is a fabulous time to discover new fragrances. And I'd like to share with you that it's a very interesting trend right now that there's a connection between edible or food and fragrance. So I brought you a couple of examples of that. And I hope, Brad, you'll take a little sniff while I go through them. Shall we do it? Yeah. All right. Let's start with these. This is great. Where, where are we starting? Well, let's make it easy. The one that looks green is called pistachio, and it's by Diaz and Durga. It even has a green little look. This fragrance was out at one time, went away, and it was so demanded that people have been asking for it a lot. So obviously, it has some pistachio in it in the top notes, as we call it. The top notes are what you smell initially when you spray it on. You might want to try it, Brad. There you go. In the I'll... middle, more pistachio and roasted almonds. You can put it on your wrist. Don't Ooh, be shy. Don't be shy. Okay. Don't be shy. And the base notes, more pistachio and vanilla cream. So this is a bit of a translation you could see between what you might eat and what you might smell yeah. in the spring. It smells Pretty very yummy. good. Yeah, it does. Yummy. I'm going to be yummy okay. this morning. All right. Let's We're go to Maison Margiela, okay. which is more like the clear bottle. Um, this one is interesting. The top notes, because you'll be becoming quite educated now, which you smell initially is black currant, liquor accord, and bergamot, and some geranium in the middle, and patchouli, which is like a rose. But the black currant, very fruity, very edible. Another one, great for spring. I think I'll spray it on myself. Ooh, that does. Mm -hmm. That smells nice. And one more, and you asked me before we went on camera, are these for men or women? It's a great question. A lot of people ask that. And the world today has a lot of different gender identities. So we say universal. These two, plus the next one as well, can be worn by women, men, or whatever your gender identity is. This next one is called Clean Reserve. And the scent is sparkling sugar. It's adorable. It has a little ladybug on it, you can see. And the, if you... You spray that one on, you might smell a little sweet bread. It's got cassis berries. It has jasmine and pink sugar, but pink is for universal. Anyone can wear it. And when it dries down a bit, it has some tonka bead and white musk. So universal and edible are two major themes for spring fragrances and brand new products that you're smelling today. I love it. Okay, let's talk about, of course, celebrating Fragrance Day on March 21st. Um, and you've done some cool things here. And that's one is the scent journey kits that we have right here with us. Well, you're you were in the limited edition. We have, as of today, over 5000 people who have signed up. It's a free um, webinar. It's on demand. We're premiering a lot of great content. Anyone can still sign up at uh, fragranceday.org. And for the first like 1,000 or 1,500, we sent out the kit that you have in your studio. And it has samples of some of the things that are going to be spoken about. That day we'll be premiering fragrances. We'll be hearing from some very big influencers, Sir Candleman and Tiff Benson. And what I do every year, Brad, is since the sense of smell is so elevated and losing it was so sad during the pandemic. Every year I speak with the Monell Center, which is based in Philadelphia, that does all the research on the sense of smell. So Dr. Pam Dalton will be joining me to give us an update. I love this. This is amazing for people to learn about the fragrances. Um, but also they're going to learn about how some of the uh, fragrant companies are being sustainable as they go forward uh, with making fragrances, right? Absolutely. You know, Sustainability is important to consumers in any category. And we in the fragrance business really believe in, number one, we don't want to destroy planet Earth. So we create fragrances in labs that are using headspace. So we extract a scent from wherever in the world or a flower, and we recreate it without destroying planet Earth. 
We also have a lot of refillables, including some of them that you have in the studio today. So we really want to make sure that we respect the planet Earth. I love this. This is so great for everybody to learn more about this. So, Linda, how can they find out about, of course, the uh, scent box and also the uh, webinar that you have going on? So you can register free at fragranceday.org, and you can find out all kinds of information at our website, which is fragrance.org. So fragranceday.org to register, or you go to the website. Also, we love to share new fragrances every day. Follow us on Insta. Um, our Instagram handle is at Fragrance Foundation. Every day, a new fragrance. I love it. Linda, thank you very much for joining us, and thank you for making me smell very springful this morning. Well, hashtag Fragrance Forward TFF. We believe in diversity, equity, inclusion. You're a man. You're in Arizona. Join the Fragrance Foundation. I love it. Linda, thank you. I will. Please do. Thanks for having me, Brad.